world, welcome to Salesforce Training. Today we're talking about the worst questions you'll get in training and how to handle them. Question number one, the why are we here question. This question is asked in almost every training session. There's always someone who's quite pessimistic and is thinking, why are we here? What is the purpose for this training? I don't really think it's a good idea or a good use of my time. These types of questions can be frustrating. The best way to deal with this question is to understand the pain points that they are dealing with in their everyday lives that this software will solve. If you can sympathize and relate to them, it's going to make them feel a whole lot better, more understood, more optimistic, and like there's something that they can benefit from here. Don't let the naysayers get you down. The second type of question that you often get is the impossible question. This question often goes along the lines of, Yeah, yeah that's great, but could it also read my mind and translate my thought onto paper? These sort of questions are often out of scope and impossible to pull off. A great way to deal with these questions is to backlog them. Let the class know about the system that's been set up to catalog and prioritize requests. Assure them that you'll add their request to the list, no matter how crazy it may seem. Question number three. This is a question that gets everyone fired up, but that you don't know the answer to. These might seem scary at first, but it's important to have a strategy that you can employ that will actually calm the situation and allow you to move forwards with your training. The strategy that we like to use at Salesforce Training is what we refer to as the car park. Car parking a question is where you'll write it down in a public place, either on a whiteboard or a piece of paper, and you'll come back to it at a later time. Writing it down where everyone can see it makes people feel understood and that their opinion matters. This is a really important step to moving forwards with the class and for people to understand that there are some things you might not know, but that doesn't mean that you don't care. Question number four. This is a question that you'll hear five times and you still won't really understand what they're asking. These questions can be difficult to respond to, especially if you genuinely can't understand what the person is saying. The best way to handle these questions is to politely let the asker know that you'll come and speak to them in a break when there's a bit more time to go over this in more detail. Once you've done that, move on with the course. Question number five. This is the type of question that turns into a 20 minute discussion. These questions are quite dangerous for a training session, especially if you're running on a short amount of time. Making sure that you're able to move swiftly and quickly past questions, no matter if you know the answer or not, is a real skill and is vital to running a successful training session. The trick to handling these sorts of questions is to identify them early, stop the discussion if you can, and assure the people that you will be coming back to this when you have a solid answer. If you're able to stay patient, stand your ground, and speak up, then you'll be able to get through these questions just fine. Questions are an unavoidable part of any training session, but it's naive to think that you can go into any training without having a strategy of how to answer difficult ones. I hope this was of some value to you and that you'll use it to get the most out of your training sessions. See you guys next time.